So Red just announced the Komodo X, what it can do and what it can't do and what it actually is and all the things you want to need you're gonna find out in this video. Coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German based cinematographer and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe, um, it helps the channel. So here as you can see I have my original Komodo and I really love that camera. And Red just announced the Komodo X. Uh, so let's start by the price. It's around 10K, so 9,995. Um, and as Jared stated in the uh, live stream from Scott Balcom, there you find all the infos in the long form. So we'll link his live stream video down below. And Jared stated in that live stream that also the black version will have the same price. So there's no price difference between the Stormtrooper version and the black version. But what's actually all about this Komodo? So the Komodo X is a little bit larger than the original Komodo, not by much. Um, but, I, but I think they have a really nice redesign because all the ports that we need, the ins and outs, they are now on the side as on the Raptor, so now you have it much more easily to um, get an SDI cable plugged in or EXT cable and whatsoever. Because here on the back it's 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 really difficult sometimes. So um, and the main thing I think why they did that is because people were asking for more frame rates. Because as you know the camera is great um, but it lacks a little bit of frame rates. So we have still a 6K sensor, it has the same um, crop factor, so 1.33. Um, it has still 6K, but you can do 6K at 80 frames per second. That is really crazy, but it's getting even better. So we also have 5K at 96 frames per second, and we have 4K 120 and 2K 240 FPS. On top of that, we also get a half of a stop more dynamic range, which is red, which red is dating. So therefore, great about that. Really love to get more dynamic range, but I have to say that the dynamic range on the Komodo is is already pretty great. What I also saw and what I was kind of, uh, what I find interesting, we still have the ProRes options, but on the normal Komodo, we just have ProRes HQ 422. On the um, ST or on the X, X, <laughs> we will also have ProRes 444. So also 12-bit ProRes on board, which is kind of nice. Um, we will have a different type of media. So the original Komodo uses um, CFast 2.0 cards, these ones here, but now we are getting um, CF Express Type B, so same as in the Raptor. And we will also have um, not the um, Canon BP slot here at back. Uh, let me just release that. We will have a mini VLOG. Um, so you can just slide in um, V-mount to the body, which is pretty great. Um, the mount will be locking, so it's a locking RF mount, so same as on Raptor. Um, that's also pretty great. And yeah, everything else is mostly just staying the same. We are getting improved audio quality. Um, I haven't heard or seen any samples of that, but Red, Red is stating that, so that's also great that you directly can plug in audio to the camera, because uh, honestly on the Komodo it's not that great. Is there an ND filter included? No, unfortunately not, not in the body, but uh, Red just released an RF2 PL adapter with an included ND, and they will also do it for EF, so uh, you can get that with an included ND filter. Um, so that's great. I think it's also will be an END, so you control it from the camera. Um, it's gonna be sold by Red, so I think that's a great accessory to get with this camera. And my opinion on that camera, I think it's really great. Um, I personally don't know if I will get the X. I'm just rather waiting for um, getting the Raptor at some point um, because I think the bigger sensor size it's a little bit better. Um, but everything else on the camera I think it's a great addition. We got more frame rates, that's what people mostly wanted. 
I personally shoot 90% of my stuff in 24 frames anyway, so I don't need more frames. And when I want to do slow motion, I do either uh, 5K 50 or 48 frames or 6K 40. And for the normal Bureau stuff, that's gonna be totally enough for me. And, but yeah, I'm really impressed what RED did here. They achieved um, still global shutter sensor, right? Um, but they achieved 80 frames per second and also 4K 120. That's something that I didn't believe that this will happen, <laughs> but it happened. And also 2K at 240. Um, that's, that's, I mean, it's great. Um, it's more pricey, of course, like the original Komodo. And if you count in for accessories, it will be around 15K or like 13K, depending on the accessories you get, right? Um, but uh, I think for what they kind of improved and everything like that, they had to uh, build a new sensor for that. That's, that's gonna be happen. I think um, from cost wise, it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the Komodo X. Um, will you get one? Um, are you excited about the new features and everything it does? And yeah, if you liked this video, please um, thumbs up, subscribe, and hopefully I'm gonna see you in my next one. Cheers.